Hey Rock Church, I miss being with you all. I was recently reminded of a message that I heard a few years ago about the disciple John. If you remember, he wrote the Gospel of John and the three epistles of John and also Revelation. When he's writing the Gospel of John, anytime he refers to himself, he says that he is the one whom Jesus loved, the disciple who Jesus loved. And there's some debate whether he really thought he was loved more than the other disciples, but what encourages me is that we see his identity was rooted in being loved by Jesus. You know, in so many ways, our identity can be found in our job or our relationship status or even in our efforts to follow Jesus. We can call ourselves Jesus followers or lovers of Jesus, but the truth of that is even in that so many times we fail. Every day we fall short of truly being lovers of Jesus. But what's so good is that we can find our identity in not our own efforts and our own work, but in the work of Jesus, that we are loved by Jesus, that we are ones who are loved by Jesus, and that is our identity. First John 4:19, John says, we love because he first loved us. And really, if we think about it that way, it changes everything. It changes the motivation that we have to follow Jesus because we are already loved. We're not working to be loved. It changes the strength that we find to love others and serve others because we are coming from a place where we are already secure in the fact that we are loved by Jesus. So John's identity was found there in being loved by Jesus and we can find our identity there too. So I'd encourage you today to find your identity in being one whom Jesus loves. I love you church, I'm praying for you, God bless you.